So now we're going to do a simple drag and drop demo. Okay, as usual with these things, I could go on all day, but uh, I'll try not to, to because uh, I know you guys have other things to do. I don't. <laughs> okay, so here we're going to show how to easy it is to write XML. And again, initially, I'm not going to use any transformers because I want to show how easy it can be. Okay, so demos, so writing XML. Okay, I have a little file here. It's a tab file, and I'm going to transform it with FME Workbench. Okay, and initially I'm just going to go to XML. I'm not even going to go to GML with this. So we'll say uh, XML. Okay, parameters there, nothing really going on there. And here we're just going to go out to writing XML output, and we'll just call it uh, output wed.xml and save. Okay, and lo and behold, there we go. Okay. And if I run this, to you'll see that I have XML. Okay, I'll run that. That'll only take a second. Output, output, wed. There it is. And you're going to see all the attributes came across. But your next question is, well, what about the geometry? So another transformer is geometry extractor. Okay, now I'm not doing GML yet. Okay, but I want to show you the geometry extractor because it has many ways of extracting the geometry and there's a number of XML ones. There's FME XML, there's GML 2.12, 3.1 and there's also OGC well-known text. So let's just pick FME XML and go again and I got to add an attribute over here because this is not GML so I'd have to call something geometry okay and output and now I connect this here and I run this and um, I'm trying not to get too excited here but uh, now if I open that XML again you're gonna see now it has geometry but it's not OGC geometry but it is geometry if I wanted OGC GML geometry in an XML document which some people want because hey the OGC spent a lot of time defining what their GML is I simply change the geometry extractor again and go and now I open it again and now it's in GML geometry. Okay, if what if I want to go to GML? Well, GML, I can simply add another writer. I could say GML here. I could pick the parameter type. Ah, let's go for the latest and greatest 3.2.1. And again, I would pick an output. Let's go output GML, output wind, output wed.gml. And there we go there. And I can Nope, because I'm going to duplicate this one and writer. Whoops, associate with, nope, duplicate, duplicate on writer. Oh, right, okay, I have to say GML. Okay, it's helping me. You notice this one, I don't have to specify the geometry because, of course, GML has the geometry. So I simply go like that. Now I've written both an XML document and a GML document, and I can open the GML document with the data inspector and you will see that it is GML. Um, okay, better be careful there. Okay, it's GML, and there is the data that's coming in, and where is it? There it is, okay, and it has the attributes, and there you go, so that's going out to GML. Okay, so that's as easy as it is. Again, I didn't want to use any transformers on that one, 